Well, the car is, uh, uh, yes, more or less ready. Of course, some uh, setup to check, but uh, I fitted this body and it's painted in green, white, and red like the Italian flag. And you can see the car got to look like the Italian flag. Green, white, red. Because the prettiest racing cars come from Italy. Yes. So I now rebuilt the car and I now got the aluminium chassis here. And everything works okay. And fitted nice. I got the transponder here in the front. This is the wire from the transponder. The servo, the EC, no, the receiver, the EC, the motor. And I changed the spur gear. Now we have 87 tooth. And I got the 26 tooth pinion. So this is, uh, should be easy for a moto, which is a 10.5 tooth. Uh, I think this car has internal gearing uh, 2x and uh, yes that is how it is. I also uh, put on this uh, Yeehaw Racing Angel uh, contacts and uh, since I did blow up the uh, capacitator last time, I just have the wires ready for the new capacitator or cap pack, as I call it. And if I'm lucky, I could maybe fit it here in this uh, room here. So before it was mounted here, but if it's a space here, I will have the cap here. I'm not sure if I need really the a motor fan. Uh, what is left now, of course, uh, check the setup. I have to check the droop and uh, ride height and uh, camber and toe and uh, maybe also the sh shocks and everything. But I think it's uh, it's looking good. I think we have this uh, very low ride height about five millimeters and maybe six in the front but I have to check that uh, what else uh, the body okay not the prettiest I'm, I'm not uh, spending very much uh, time on the details on the body I usually just uh, it printed in one color and I usually mask out the windows just show the heavy windows and like to have them clear uh, but uh, sometimes I, I do one or two or here you have a three color TMO uh, quite easy you just put on the mask for the mid uh, strip here and you paint one side first and then the other side and then we re remove uh, the mask without the windows and you paint the white with a small pencil and then you remove to the end uh, mask for the windows. And I, only one uh, uh, layer of painter. I should maybe have two but uh, it's not that important because when you're driving a car and it's up to the speed you don't look at the details anyway. I like to drive cars I'm not having this on the shelf just to look at it. Uh, but with this low ride height, I think it's okay. The body is not hitting the the ground now. So uh, I think the car is okay. Just have to check when I get up up to speed. I 
have not measured the weight of this car, but <coughs> it cannot be much over one kilo, thousand gram. Okay, so the car is uh, more or less finished. And again, I have to check the setup. That's the last thing, and of course, when I get the cap pack, I will install that, and I will test the engine up to more speed. Uh, with a 87 tooth spur and 26 tooth pinion and 10.5 turn motor and the timing in the EC is now set at zero. Uh, I'm not sure how much speed we get really. But uh, again the motor should not work very hard and get hot with this uh, here. Uh, I can take... Uh, Gotcha. Yeah, the final, uh, what was it called? Final drive ratio or something like that, FDR, is about 6.7. 6.7. And that's uh, quite the big number because I read that. Uh, this type of car with the 10.5 engine, uh, what was it again? Was it about five that was recommended? Uh, let's see, 5.5 5 is recommended. And I got, what did I say, 6.7. So I, I'm very safe on the gearing. Uh, I maybe not even need a motor fan. But I just have to check what speed we have with this setup. And uh, if it's too slow, I can uh, adjust the timing on the EC because it's now at zero. Uh, but of course I also could uh, gear up with a larger pinion. But I don't need crazy high speed because my driving skills are not that uh, high. So I will take it a bit easy in the start. Alright, that was all. Come back later. Goodbye.